Hello, this is Bruce, and today I'm with my friend Weston, and um, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a alcohol wash and a mite count and see how it's going. So Weston, is uh, this will be a first time for him for his bees, so we're going to give it a shot. All right, here we go. Hi, this is Bruce, and last video I showed you doing some mite treatments, and I was asked to do a little bit of a deeper dive about doing the alcohol wash mite counts. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today. Now, you've probably heard that Varroa mites is one of the biggest problems we have as beekeepers right now. The mites are a pretty big for the bee size anyway, it's a, an, an external parasite that feeds on the bees. It feeds on an organ called the fat body, which is a lot like the liver in a human. And what those, what those mites do to the bees, well, they, they do physical damage. They actually uh, leave them with open wounds, but they weaken the bees. And they are vectors for transmitting pathogens, especially virus. And we see deformed wing virus, for example. There's several viruses. But when you have an infestation level of mites that gets above a certain, a certain threshold, it's a downward spiral and your bees will die. So we have to manage these, okay? Now, to do a mite count, it's not very difficult. But what we do is you want to go down into the brood chamber of your beehive not the food not, not the food frames because the food frames have, have have forager bees mostly on them no you want to go down to where there's brood there's open brood not capped brood per se a little bit of capped brood is okay as long as there's uh, pollen inside which is like bee bread but the point to this is the best, most accurate way to get a mite count is to test the nurse bees. And the nurse bees are the ones that are on the open brood cells, and if there's bee bread, they're feeding that to the babies. So what you want to do is go down to the brood chamber, take out a frame that's got brood on it, and make sure you don't have the queen on there. It's best if you can locate the queen, but anyway, you pull that frame and you look and you look and you look again and make sure that you're not going to have the queen on that frame because the bees are actually going to be sacrificed, okay? So before you pull your frame, you should have all your equipment ready. You should have something like this easy checker. Uh, I like this. Um, they're inexpensive on the internet and it has a line in there. You fill it up to the line with alcohol. They say you should use 90%. I'm using 70% alcohol. It seems like it works fine. It's a propyl alcohol. And you have a scoop that holds half a cup of bees, a half a cup scoop, because half a cup equals right about 300 bees. And that makes for an accurate sample. So you shake your bees into a container, preferably a white container, because it's easier to see. Look again for the queen. Now, I'd like to leave that container sitting for a few minutes. There's bees flying off. That's okay, because the nurse bees are the ones who can't fly yet. And so they're the ones that are sitting down in the bottom of that container. If the foragers fly back, that's fine. No problem. Now, when you have a pretty good group of bees in there, Give it a thump to get them all down in the corner. Scoop out 300 bees and drop them into your alcohol shaker bottle. Then you can set the lid on top of that. And that's a good time. You can put the hive back together. The bees that are still in the container that didn't go into your alcohol wash jar, you can drop them back in the hive and then put the top back on. Now you shake. You shake the 
can you shake the uh, alcohol wash jar a good minute, even two minutes is good. Now I like to swirl it, but it has to be vigor enough, vigorous enough that it will actually dislodge the mites right off the bees. Now the real sad part about doing alcohol wash is always that you're going to sacrifice 300 bees for the cause. But this is crucial. It is a good thing to do. All right, now I've got a sample. After I've shaken it for two minutes, I can look up into the jar and I can see how many mites are in the jar. All right, now I've taken my sample and I count those mites that are in my sample jar and I divide by three. So for example, if I have three mites in the sample, if I found three mites in the jar, I will divide by three. Three into three is one. And that means I have a 1% infestation. For me, I 1% is my threshold. There are beekeepers out there that will have six mites or even nine mites before they treat. But for me personally, I prefer to treat if, right at when they're at that 1% threshold. Okay, that's about it. You take your alcohol wash to get accurate mite counts. So that's a little bit deeper into how we do alcohol wash. I hope this has helped. This is Bruce, and I'll catch you on the next one. Do a slow count, you know, or something. But you want to battle for a minute, I'll score a minute. You're fine. No? No? Unless you're driving. So you have a bit of a problem, but it's not horrible, and we will fix it.